Hello, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. At once. Let's enter this keep or let's look around some more since we can. Because why not? Maybe, no, we won't find anything interesting, right? Yep. Okay, then let's enter the keep. The keep? No. I think it is the keep. Let's. It looks like this place has been abandoned for years. Hmm. You said it yourself, those are ruins. Huh. But that looks like an amphitheater. God damn it. Wind. Luckily, they don't have that much health. What do we have here? Spirit residue. Frayed flames of rope and a few flint chips are scattered across this workbench. Mm, I have a bad feeling that we will only encounter ghosts here. Only weeds grow in this dusty patch. Yeah, we'll look wisp. Of course, we'll focus on Willow Wisp first. Um, man. For some reason, I'm not fighting with it. And I honestly don't know how this party AI is supposed to act because it, they're not changing direction. The hedges grow in shaggy hips, shot through with weeds and tall grasses. So you mean we cannot go through? That's interesting. Okay, we can surely enter here. The sour odors of rancid grain and spoiled fruit permeate the air. Dust and rust thirsted at utensils cover the countertop. Rats skitter among the broken stairs. The shells creak under the books. Many of the covers are mortared with mildew. Cobwebs bind the remains of a broken alembic, a cracked mortar, and various shattered bottles and vials to the table. Mm, no, I don't think we'll find anything useful. By the way, what are your mechanics? Alright, one. I had to check. I will have to dedicate one of us to learn mechanics more. Probably myself. I will be um, similar, first of all. Lizard skins, knuckle bones, and teeth of various sizes like among the weeds. One side of this pillar is graven with hundreds of whorls and rages. Even under a layer of grime and moss, the Atra gleams. Oh, is it the shadow that speaks? It's a phantom? Okay, if it's a phantom, then I will summon something. Never mind.
Please tell me again, what were you looking here for? This trapdoor has been battered by the elements. Tugging on the rusted handle only produces a heavy rattling. What the hell is a flame blight? And it's immune to your attacks. Okay, swap to this. Like he is immune to most of it. Um, I like that. Okay, change your weapon back. Primal flame. Leave our village. We've done nothing to you. Who are you? You can't do this! Spectral smoke turns all around you. At first, you can see nothing except the haze, but gradually, you make out the wizened, hunched shape of an old elven man. His face and bone thin arms are smeared with paint. He shakes his head, spitting the words at you. Do what? Oh, no, let's, let's just listen. This is our village, our home! The Nine Claws have lived here almost 50 generations. We were here long before your kind brought war to our lands. You can't just burn it all. <coughs> have mercy, soldier. Our warriors have all gone. <coughs> you can't burn us all because of them. <coughs> he reaches out to you and opens his mouth to say something. But all that emerges is a series of violent coughs. He falls to his knees, choking on the thickening smoke. Flames overtake the vision as you back away. Yes. Still, we do need to take care of Will of Wisps and such. Oh, there's another entrance. Looks like it. Or maybe not. But we found someone. Well, that's, uh, Unusual. Yes. Start with Phantom. What? How much health do you have? this you cannot do that I'm here. but you will be fine the gray and brown pelts of mice flit between the boards whispers of yen wood unique swords one-handed okay I'm here who's gonna use that you use spear you you you, you use two-handed sword Mm -hmm. It's slaying for spirits. You know what? You use it. If it's good against spirits, then I want to have it on me. Even if it does a little less damage. Ooh. As you come to the end of the Great Hall, you perceive an inviting warmth radiating from Grand Throne worked out of marble, its masterful artistry out of place amidst the castle's more practical stonework. The veiled face of a woman is carved above the throne's backing, watching over the room with hollow eyes. At your approach, you feel the warmth fluctuate as though stirring. A voice rings out from the carving, permeating the fortress through stone and air. Another watcher in Cadnua, glowing very brightly indeed to these eyes. What strange happenstance. I'm looking for Merwold. As am I. 
If you should happen to find him, I would be glad to know of it. Each day his absence brings new dust to my halls, new cracks to my stones. It's... it's shameful is what it is. The Earl would never have let it come to this. You are free to search for him here. I will unbar the way. You said these were your halls. Not as a land is its lords. More as a child is its mother's. This castle was my design, you see. The Earl appointed me to do it. I was getting on in years. I knew it would be my only chance to build something magnificent. When it was built, I couldn't bring myself to part from it, to go back to my lonely home. I begged the Earl to let me stay, to take care of it. It was all I wanted, and he granted it. Years later, when Bareth Sasha finally came calling, I begged the Earl to find a way to let me remain, and so he did. Are you imprisoned in that throne? Imprisoned? At times it feels that way, I suppose. But it's more that I reside here. The throne was brought up from the ruins. One of the first things they found. As a last favor to a dying woman, the Earl arranged for me to be moved into it. Audra is an accommodating vessel for a soul. Oh, it's not as confining as it seems. I can feel the whole keep from here, and all things that are tied to it. There's something about this throne and its construction. Or maybe it's something about this place. Tell me more about Merwold. He was a great man. He came here one day, young with long hair and polished armor, and he banished the dark things that had come to lurk in this place after centuries of neglect. He could see the beauty of this place, the way it had been, so he claimed it for his own when no one else would take it. We worked together to restore it. But he began to grow distant some time ago. He never told me why. He retreated deeper and deeper into the keep, never leaving, sending servants for food, hiding himself from my sight. The restoration stopped. Now, to look at the place, you'd never know the progress we'd made. In most places, it's worse than it ever was. And all I can do is watch it crumble around me. What Earl were you speaking of? The Earl of Yenwood. The original, in fact, when Deerwood was a colony. He found this site, the only ruin Air Glanfarth refused to defend, and he believed its wealth would be great. The keep was his way of defending his family's claim, and that claim became his obsession. He had to know what lay beneath. He devoted his life to excavating the ruins below the keep. They had been sealed with rock and soil. Deliberately, it would seem. Years passed, and with them the Earl. He dug his entire life and never found what he sought. His obsession became his sons and his son's sons. And one day, that young Earl broke through. What did he find? An endless maze, incomprehensible in its construction. But he would never come to learn more than that. Vile things had taken residence there. Vile and dangerous. They poured up through the keep and slew its residents. The Earl among them. After that, the keep remained abandoned. Unused, wasted. Mayor Wall's mastery of this place was the first hope I'd had in 200 years. How I've longed to see it as it once was. I can only guess why all this has happened. I fear I've wronged the gods putting this place here, and they've doomed me to watch it wear away into dust, to witness my own folly. Any idea where I can find this Merwold? I can feel his presence faintly somewhere deeper inside the keep, but he uses his gifts to confound me, and my senses are dulled while he does so. I only wish I could know his mind. Okay, we'll go look for him. Farewell. Take care in your search. Many dangers lie in wait here. <laughs> Great. 
First thing first, allow me to look through this place. Oh, yeah, probably it was this whole place was already looted by someone. Is does that lead upstairs? Yes, so let's go here first. Hmm? Been out playing soldier again, have we? Go wash up and come help me shuck these peas. As you drew near, the apparition in front of you resolves into an elven woman. Her stringy hair is tied back, and she tugs at a loose thread on her apron. There's a distant, hollow look in her eyes until she notices you. She turns from you long enough to produce a basket that, like her, is shimmering and semi-transparent. And no complaints. You've got to eat your vegetables if you want to grow up strong and be a real soldier one day. Just like we agreed, right? She watches you out of the corner of her eye. I say nothing. Soldiers are important people. They defend the weak and punish the wicked. You're too young to understand now, but there are lots of wicked people. People like the man who murdered your father. She crushes another husk between finger and thumb. Remind me what happened to uh, uh, my father. Before you were born, the Glanfathans attacked settlers like us. They said we'd knocked over some of their special Adra rocks. That's why they call it the Broken Stone War. They got very angry, and so they came into our villages and killed many people. Your father was one of them. He was one of the people the Glanfathans killed. That's what I said. Her voice is low and hoarse, and her hand is frozen over the basket. Something dark and empty clouds over her eyes. That's why you will be a soldier one day. To protect and to avenge. Why don't you go back out and play? I'll finish up here. Up? Okay, I'll go up. I guess there, we are not limited in what... Um, how we explore this place. It feels as if cobwebs are the only things holding this rickety old mess together. Something has made a nest out of old straw and mattress sticking. It looks like a common sleeping area. Let's see what we have here. It's sometimes it's really weird that they decided to split all those places into separate beings, let's say. Do not... Okay. He was working against me. Spiders have taken up presence in the empty shelves. I am fairly sure there is something hidden here. But we don't have enough mechanics to unravel it. I promise you I will spend whole new whole next level into giving myself mechanics. The silver trails of slugs gleam inside the barrels. Your spider? Oh, uh, b -b 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 I hate spiders in games. I swear, I hate spiders in games. It doesn't usually have... I don't usually have any reason to hate them, but... Ooh. There's another one. 
shoot it. Oh, there's two more. There's four more. You two here, you here, the two of you here. Poisoned? Poisoned. We will rest. Or maybe not. Since we're already taking care of it. Uh... The thing about spiders in games or movies is they always give them this skittering sound, you know? New orders, Lieutenant. Ready your squad. A spectral man arrayed in armor and in an officer's cloak studies a single sheet of paper. You can see straight through it to the ducal and uh, a dire insignias on his breastplate. He seems to read over the page several times before looking up at you. When he does, his expression is unreadable. There's been a change of plans. Take your squad and march south all the way to the bow in the river. Bring a wagon team and... A dozen barrels of pitch. His voice falters and he shakes his head. The hand holding the paper drops to his side. Listen. The instructions come from Ahmed Hadred himself, which means they might as well have come from the Duke. We're to burn those hut dwellers out. Set fire to the Deerwood so they've nowhere to retreat. Cut them down when they come out. Or let them blaze if they won't. A ghostly sigh forms a mist in front of his lips. It'll make this even shorter than the broken stone war, all right. And we can only hope it'll discourage future conflicts. I know this is personal for you. It is for many of us. But understand, we're doing this to end this war, not to continue the last one. Remember that we're flushing out the enemy, not burning villages for sport. Bareth will have his work cut out for him tonight. Hmm. The, this cut is rough with splinters. So, coming back. The, the issue I have with spiders in videos, movies or video games, um, is that I don't know I can't comprehend why do they give them the skittering sound or any sounds at all I they if they would make a sound let's rest um camping is not allowed in this area great if they would make a sound it would be a sound of fluids being pumped because they <laughs> We'll take those farmers by surprise. <sighs> because, you know, arachnids, they don't have... How is the tissue called? Ish. Uh, in the two of you, you will come here, oh, you will come... Not you, you will stand there, you will come here. Uh, you go away okay the two of you hit him the two of you hit him you will focus on him yeah are you hitting anything Ooh, i'll give it to you Cobblestones and bricks are bound to the rusted old cart by thick spider webs. Almost time. Di and Heather scouted the village last night. They're rounding up the rest of the party now. Say nothing. Don't worry. Everyone remembers the raid was your idea. The Rio had to go along with it after you'd gotten the rest of the clan riled up. No one wants it said that the Nine Claws were too cowardly to stand with the rest of the tribe when the foreigners desecrated our ruins. I see. The tribes need more leaders like you. Women who value deeds over words. 
He reaches toward your cheek but stops midway, his splayed fingers quivering as a tremor of doubt runs through him. You were right. We were too soft when the foreigners first came, and now they humiliate us. We'll be soft no more, and the invaders will learn to leave us alone once and for all. I'm here. They need a strong woman. Okay, now you got me intrigued. Oh, Zorit? What are you doing here? I believe you cannot have more endurance than you have health. Oh my goodness. A shimmering wall of energy extends across this doorway like a curtain. It repels forward the movement with unnatural force. Where are you? Right away. Okay, yeah, perhaps this voice knows more. Unfortunately, we didn't hear him say that. Carry iron key. Wait, uh oh. Move away, move away, and change your weapon. How may you I help him, you help him. No, don't move, you help him. Okay, now you all help him. Maybe the throne lady will allow us to rest up there. Okay, that's something new. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, you move away. No. Summon this thing. You will summon some. Okay, so Coractan is simply. Come on. Is simply summoning something. Come on, I want that carapace. going no 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 we're going back upstairs not formation but move quicker please Returns. Well, one of them at least. Have you had any luck finding Merwold? And you have. Take care in your search. Yeah, thank you. We will die. But don't worry. It will be fine. They won't allow us to rest anywhere. Yes. I don't know, maybe if I find something like this. No. Keep away from us. Leave us. A large, liver spotted man, barrel chested and paunchy, cowers in the far corner of the room. His white hair is tangled, stringy mess. He covers his face and chest with trembling hands, unable to look in your direction. Maybe we should come back later? Are you Merwold? He looks up over his hand. 
hit the muscles around his eyes twitching and begins whispering to himself in sharp hisses, as though having an argument. All at once he stops shaking, a sudden calmness falling over him. His head tilts forward slightly and he looks you dead in the eye, like a cornered animal about to pounce. His voice turns suddenly raspy. Mayor Wald isn't here, and he isn't fooled. He has sent for no callers. Be gone, deceiving spirit. I am no spirit. Do I look like any spirit you have ever seen? Mayor Wald will speak with you, but you will maintain your distance, or you'll have me to answer to. The old man turns his body away and has another muttered sputtering argument facing the wall. When he turns back towards you, he has taken a confident stance, and his chest is pulled, puffed out like a soldier's. Come to speak to Mayerwald? Mayerwald, whose touch is poison? Mayerwald, who knows not his effect? I was told I am a watcher, and that you could tell me more about it. Uh, and about a uh, um, tablet of some more after that, once you two are finished, of course. The window, window to the ether, where spirits dwell. Hear and reach into it, speak and listen through it. A watcher sees souls, reads them, knows their pasts, souls of the living. Souls of the dead, an empath, and the souls see them back. Used it to help beings in both realms, did I. What the gods wanted of me, thought I. The gods put me in the world for vengeance, and I obliged. It was the gods' wishes that we protect those lands. My way was the only way to remove the foreigners. Little I knew. I was accosted by spirits on my way here. What do they want? No, no! Forgive me! Forgive me! He covered his mouth with his hand, his breath convulsing, his eyes red and exhausted. You seem to have lost your mind. Lost? No. Found more of it. Too much. Too much to bear. An awakening. Aleph's eyes narrow as he looks at the old man. How could a simple awakening have driven you to this? You mean you remember your past lives? Something reminds. Memories stirred. Memories before birth. Other bodies. Other times. Memory. Personality. Identity. Any might resurface. Or all. And I seem to be having a conversation with several of them right now. Ghosts of the mind. Mayerwald has lost control. Mayerwald's body no more. The spirits I passed. What are they? Spirits and not spirits. Always whispering to Mayerwald, reminding him of his mistakes. No sleep. Watchers see memories before them, form them from the essence of their own souls. Once Mayerwald awakened, he could not make them leave. Gave them more form, not less. The spirits are memories from previous lives. Troubled memories, angry memories. Pulling Mayerwald back, reminding him his mistakes. Marauder and soldier, soldier and marauder, how could they know? I've seen apparitions like those elsewhere, since I became a watcher. 
tears well in Neville's eyes. Oh, no, no, no. You too? You too. All at once, in spite of his abject misery, his expression changes to one of utmost sympathy. Poor woman. Poor woman. They will take you too. What an inve inevitable madness. That can be right. Kenna folds his arms. There's always an answer to be found, if you look hard enough. You're saying I'll end up like you. So fragile the Watcher's mind. So real his memories. Once awakened, how can he sleep? Why do these past lives still trouble you? My fault. Oh, my fault. Soldier and marauder. Soldier and marauder and Mayor Walt. No forgiveness for what's past. No undoing what's done. No sleep. No sleep for the Watcher. War there was all around. War of stone. War of tree. War of tree? Oh, of course. The broken stone war and the war of black trees. This was in the early period of Adarian colonization, fighting between the Darewood colonists and the native Glanfatans, you see. But that was a long time ago. Death we brought to the settler men. We the Nine Claws. Claws of Nine. Worse what we did to the women. For love of the gods. The gods' love. For their love. I met one of your memory spirits. There was talk of raiding a village. Mayor Walt's voice becomes raspy, and he is somewhere else in place and time, speaking to someone unseen. Hold her down. Head her. Give this out of your bitch an air that belongs an air glotfath. <laughs> Mayor Walt cringes himself again. Watching something he can't bear to see, shaking his head over and over. He wails. His soul, his soul is marked by flame, and those marks will never heal. His trial has broken him, but better than that than to live in weakness. Take your time. It's over now. It was long ago. Continue when you're ready. The boy. The boy. The baby boy. The boy. Conceived in the raid. Conceived by force. Vessel for Marauder. Slain in the raid. Marauder and the boy. Marauder and soldier. A baby conceived by the raider. What do you mean it was a vessel for him? For the soul. A marauder's soul. Same soul. One soul. Boy's soul. Marauder's soul. Raised in lies and vengeance. Raised to soldier. Raised for the fire. Born for the fire. Raised for the fire. You'll get no pity from me. The crimes of the Nine Claws clan in the last war are still unavenged. But the gods are just. They have led me here. In my father's name, every one of you will burn. Light it. Aleph looks at the old man in horror. Bade Asher's crooked man. Maywald's shoulders slump. He rocks back and forth, agitated. He mutters to himself, oblivious to her presence. Soldier and marauder, lies and vengeance, and dead villages. All dead. All dead. What for? What for? Whatever the reason, I don't think we are meant to know. How little we know. 
How do you tell a spirit from a memory? Fragmented our memories. Stuck in time. Mindless. Cruel. Never far. If I'm awakened to a past life, how would that have happened? You were reminded of it. Strong memories. Lingering lives. They dwell near the surface. Waiting to be remembered. Waiting to take your mind for their own. Meowald sat at his hearth and watched his fire. Watched the wood burn. Then came the memory of another fire and burning wood and screams. His face trembles involuntarily. There must be a way, be some way to make these memories go away. No. Always there. Always remembered. Can't forget. Can't unsee. I didn't just remember. Someone caused this. They wore masks and spoke of books and keys and a queen. There was a man there. He seemed familiar to me. Keys of lead, books of burden, queens that were known to me are they, the leaden key. The leaden key? It say, it seems we share an enemy, Evna. Assassins and Watcher Wakers both. They certainly keep busy. What can you tell me about this leaden key? Secrets. Secrets and deceptions and schemes. Who knows their answers? Not they. Not they. Crossed them before. Hatred of watchers. Hatred and fear. Much we see. Threat to secrets. Who is this queen they pray to? Wodica. Goddess. Crown shattered and body burned. Binder of oaths and grudge holder. Bearer of justice. But whose? If the laden key caused my awakening, could they undo it? Many secrets do they keep. Unawaken? Mayhap. Who else if not they? Do you know where I might find the laden key? City of Defiance. Never far from the Queen. I need to go so I can search for this man from the laden key. Sleep well. Sleep well. Hold. I know your will die. Your actions were seen. You would sooner betray us to the Adia land thieves than take orders from me. You're confusing me with someone from your past life. Your betrayal is for nothing. Your warnings are lost on these foreigners, and their blood will be Galloway's tribute this night. I have asked the elders for the honor of claiming your head as my first trophy, and they have granted it. Beg for the Seeker God to grant you a quick death. What is that? Small flame blade, great. And of course you are. Did we start shooting? I'm here. How oh, awesome. We're doing great. Actually. Wait, what? Oh, he, he cannot see him, so he must move. The target becomes paralyzed. Great. I will be right back. How may I help? Okay, I am back. Uh, let's use this. Um, you'll start with this. Yeah, you were supposed to move. 
You're not doing anything currently. Yes. What? Okay. shooting he's immune okay you come over here not this way yes okay oh, you keep doing this really You try wound, curing your wounds. Just keep shooting there. Uh, I don't want to risk this. You produce me a demon. D demon, produce me a demon, please. Ugh. You do crack, then you do crack, then you keep shooting. Yes. Okay, he blew up. You get over here so you can heal. For some reason, he cannot heal. That's interesting. There is a change in the air of the keep. What was thick and suffocating feels to you somehow more breathable, as though yielding to a conquering invader. Merwul's body lies inert. You can feel his soul lingering there, uncertain. There is something unique about the soul in this place. A bond formed in decades of inhabitants and lordship that feels somehow palpable to you. As though even in death, the keep knows its former master, and the former master remembers his keep. We were granted speaker to the restless. In your mind's eye, the bond seems to you as a frayed rope, ghostly and alive. Its frayed ends were writing like tight pool animals, and you find it that if you concentrate on it, you have the ability to manipulate its strands. Repair the rope, binding Merwold's soul here as an internal warden. The frayed pieces twist and fuse, and as the bond strengthens, the fibers become metal and the rope becomes a chain. You watch as Merwold's soul recedes into the floor, melding with it, spreading thin across it until it is one with the entire place, a silent guardian. I'm here. Ooh, there's Grimoire. Can we rest Absolutely. now, please? Pretty please. Wait, do you want to talk? Yes, but give me a moment, please. Let me rest. And with that, I'll end this part here. So thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.